all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and here's a quick comparison between some cheaper nato straps and some more premium uh, nato straps um i got the bark and jack storm broadweave okay that's right here and actually i have two of them and i'll explain why later and as you can see it works really well on the monster so single pass with the floating keeper what is not relatively a thicker watch it only has a single pass okay so there's other watches where you can do a double pass and it adds double the thickness to the watch so basically a watch would go in between and now you're having double the thickness plus the thickness of the watch so single pass is the way i like to i like to go and now you can also cut this piece off here you can cut this bottom strap off just singe it with the lighter and then no one will ever know and then it becomes a single pass um you can do that if you want then it's not really a true nato uh double pass feature um i like the single pass and they're becoming a little bit more popular uh here's another double pass style so here's a uh, Strap Mill Canada, and uh, I really like this one. I I know it's a two-piece, but I really like this one. I wear this on thinner watches, for example, uh, wrist check. So that this strap here really, really works well with the new Helios Universa. I've had this strap before, and then I just tried it out on here, and it looks amazing. Feels wonderful. Nice and supreme finish. Look at that sheen, very nice finish. Okay, the holes, they hold up pretty nice. This, like I said, this strap is already uh, almost a year old and it gets a lot of use. So I'll use that strap on a thinner watch. This watch here, okay, 9.7 millimeters thin. I'll use that on there. So even if it's double pass, it doesn't add that much thickness, okay. Uh, Monta Triumph, nice and thin. Um, you know, I'll use it on something like this. You know, a simple Timex, military style. Again, relatively thin. Okay, so actually I'll go ahead and install this one on here. So you feed that through, and you guys have seen this a million times. Feed it through the bottom. So that's now single pass. But now what you have to do is you have to feed it back through again. So this is the original way that uh, the Ministry of Defense kind of organized these and made these to spec so then soldiers wouldn't lose their timepieces if one of the spring bars failed. Basically, the watch head would flip flop around and uh, you wouldn't lose your watch. It would still be on one of the spring bars. So it just transforms the watch and I think it looks wonderful. Okay, then you have a single piece. So again, that Strat Mill Canada was a really good quality. Here's a crown and buckle. So a little bit shorter. I'm just going to show you compared to the uh, Bark and Jack Storm Broadweave. Okay, so a little bit shorter on the crown and buckle, but it has the hardware that you can adjust so basically it has a floating keeper as well but what this does is it allows you to push up the material in the clasp in the buckle and then adjust it okay i have mine perfectly adjusted to how i want it and uh, it works really well where it is okay and then this one just slides through here now i like to keep mine centered just a little bit lower that way the buckle is perfectly at my wrist. So, sorry, hit the camera again. And yeah, so a little bit of bulk here, but nothing to go crazy about because this bulk, this double pass bulk, which is only about an inch or so, like, you know, in length, is gonna be basically right around the wrist. So once you put this buckle through and then it becomes 
like a you know a normal buckle on a regular watch so i really like the crown and buckles this one is held up extremely well uh probably the toughest probably the highest quality and uh very durable probably most durable i've had again this one is almost a year old as well and i wear them a ton i'm in a huge nato kick right now and uh I'm really liking the NATOs and especially this one here. This gets a lot of use. This goes on um, my Manta dive watch, as you can see. This is what I actually bought this strap for was this watch here, the Gil Tones. Okay, so that works really, really well. And uh, yeah. So anyway, the reason why I have two NATOs from Bark and Jack, uh, basically what happened was um i got the original one in and i loved it and the whole idea was for me to wear this with a multitude of watches because this color is just amazing the storm gray is fantastic it goes with almost every watch that i have it works with the blue and the black on here okay depending on how the light hits it there's a little bit of green a little bit, like it, it's it's fantastic it's so hard to describe on camera I don't even know if this is doing it justice, but it is phenomenal. Okay, and again, single pass, floating keeper, little bit of bulk here, but again, that's where the buckle is going to be. So this feeds through here. And now when you feed this through, some watches are pretty sharp, and it scratches right between the spring bar and the case profile. So right there, if that's sharp, you're going to get this going on. You're going to get a lot of fraying and pulling at the fibers. It's going to look like crap. It's going to actually compromise the overall durability and wearability of the NATO. And so, you know, there's different ways of installing it. There's You, you can, you know, take the spring bar off, mount it like this. Instead of feeding it through like the more traditional style, you know, take the spring bar off, grab the spring bar, then put the spring bar on around the NATO strap, and then you can slowly adjust uh, there. But, you know, I got it. I was excited. I kind of slipped it through a couple of watches and it was pretty good. Like, for example, this one here is not too bad. The distance between the spring bar and the case profile is not bad. I can actually pull this through relatively easy now on some other watches that i tried it on it that wasn't the case it was so hard to pull this through see how easy this is it was so hard to pull it through and of course i was being stubborn i was excited and i guess i pulled a little bit too hard or you know the watch head was a little bit too tight and it frayed all this now i contacted uh, adrian and uh, he was the one that actually told me that I've been putting on NATOs on watches for years, never really had that issue. But I guess with this particular material, it's got uh, different types of fibers in there. It's a little bit more thicker, more durable than your standard nylon. And um, yeah, I guess it just started pulling at the fibers and uh, it started peeling. It started fraying. So I was a little bit concerned because I did spend good money on this, you know, shipping to Canada. It ended up being around 50 bucks Canadian. Uh, I know they're listed as 24 pounds, so by the time they do the conversion and then the shipping, I was a little disappointed. So I contacted him and then, he, you know, right away he answered my email and told me, gave me a whole, you know, kind of tutorial on how to put the NATO strap in. And now I have a new one. I just, again, I had to pay for shipping, um, which was fine. It was only like $7 Canadian from UK to uh, Toronto and uh, it came in really fast record time and i'm glad i kind of did this because uh this strap is amazing so that's why i have two bark and jack nados i kind of wished i maybe got the green one but uh in the end it's okay because i ended up getting this one so he has one that's called the arid's green broad weave and it's very very similar to this one and uh however i picked this one up and it's a Vario. So these guys are out of Singapore. Again, they make really, really nice quality straps. But as you can see here, these are both fixed. 
Whereas this one here on the Barking Jack, it's got the sliding keeper, which I, I kind of like this a little bit better. Just gives you that little bit more flexibility in terms of, you know, putting it under and then tucking it back in and all that kind of stuff. But this green is just fantastic. I'm going to show you right now how it looks on my Gilt Ocean King. And see this one here, it didn't really uh, tug at the uh, at the, the fibers like the Barking Jack one. The Barking Jack Stormy, if I feed it through the Manta, it just ripped at all the fibers right across here. So a little bit thicker. There you go. There's a single pass. Sorry for the smudging. So I'm wearing the gloves. But yeah, so single pass on a watch that's around 12 millimeters thick. Single pass works really well. And the colors just pop. There's something about that green and gold. It always gets to me. And uh, it's just uh, such a good combination. Um, where else are you going to see this? You're going to see this a lot on... Um, the black bear black bay 58s you're gonna see a lot of the green natos on the black bay 58 and this was actually the watch that i purchased in place of the black bay 58 and i'm glad i went with the manta 100 percent um quality is on par with the tutor you know you're not getting the brand heritage and all that blah 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 but i think you're getting a wonderful watch a well-made watch and uh Again, I read on Instagram today, someone said, Tudor doesn't care if you buy their watch, but these guys really do care if, if, if you buy their watch. And uh, I'm so happy to take pictures of this watch and show it off to everybody. And Monta is just as proud as I am that I own this watch, which is fantastic. And that's that speaks volumes to me, and that's what I want anyway in this watch community. So... If you need more, if you want more information, uh, pictures, if you like pictures of watches and all that, follow me on Instagram for sure. Um, Time Flies By 2020. That's the tag name for my account on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you like this video and you like the NATO straps, please like the video. There's going to be more content coming. Um, I'm going to be doing a strap video, another one separately to this where I'm gonna be doing a strap show for this guy here. So this is the new Helios Universa. Again, why would you put a strap on a watch like this that has a bracelet like this? But I just think uh, there's so many good straps out there and it works well with, with, with the watches that, you know, that you have as well. So again, this is very thin. So a double pass would work on here. A single pass would work really well. This is just an amazing piece, and it's going to be a strap monster. This one works well on here. I know the uh, Barking Jack Storm Gray is going to work really well. Uh, even rubber and silicone. I got this one here from Barton. So it's got that two-tone, that kind of Tiffany teal color to match that green kind of turquoise second sand so gray and teal that's the way to go and uh, this watch is just gonna look amazing this band is gonna look amazing on this watch okay guys but uh, this was just a, a quick video on some supreme higher end natos uh double pass as you can see nice supreme quality you know this strap milk canada one is very similar to the crown and buckle supreme and also very similar to the Haviston Parade series. Um, but you're not paying nearly as much as you would. Uh, these guys are really good prices. Go check them out. I'll leave some links in the description below. Um, but yeah, these straps are amazing. These are the ones that I recommend. I frequent and I wear them a lot actually. Right now, the only watches I have on bracelet um, because the bracelets are just fantastic. Obviously, I have the Ocean King, but the Manta. So the bracelet's the same. Okay, and then obviously right now I'm really just enjoying the bracelet on the Helios. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. And uh, big shout out to Adrian from Barkin Jack. All right, see you in the next vid.